What does it mean for us to go the extra mile? That's what we're going to talk about today. A little job done well is the first step towards a bigger one. Napoleon Hill. Today we're going to talk about going the extra mile. Last week we talked about how no decision is still a decision. But this is where I want you to go one step further. Instead of just doing the bare minimum, whether you're at work or for your spouse, could you take out the trash? All right, I took out the trash. Can you go the extra mile and do the extra thing that will make someone else's life better, but make them also think maybe more highly of you because you have gone the extra mile? As much as I was a slacker through much of my life and maybe a little bit driftless on my decision making, The one thing I was always good at was going the extra mile for people. I wouldn't do it for myself if I was writing a paper. I didn't do the finishing touches that made that paper excellent. It was just pretty good. It was okay. And But when it came to other people, I was very good at going the extra mile to make their lives a little bit better. And here's a quote from the book, and this is what struck me the most. He says, here's a good joke to play on your employer. Get to work a little early. Leave a little later than you're supposed to. Handle his tools as if they belong to you. Go out of your way to say a kind word about him to your fellow workers. When there's extra work that needs to be done, volunteer to do it. And don't be surprised when he gets on to you and offers you the head of the department or the partnership in the business, for this is the best part of the joke. I thought that was so intriguing. And there's a Bible passage that I'm not going to get too bible on you, but says, you know, sit in the back of the room and be invited to the front of the room. Reminds me a little bit of like this, but there are many times I've heard throughout my life where someone had an employee who just went that extra mile, and when that person decided to retire, ended up giving the business to that person entirely, or making an opportunity for them that they never would have had. Going that extra distance in the things that you do for other people will get attention. Because honestly, we live in a place right now where people just don't do it, where people aren't going the extra mile. (laughs) They show up to work on the dot minute and they leave at work on the dot after. And if something needs to get done, particularly when it comes to the world of contractors, I worked in a company that cared very much about the contractors and the quality of the work they put out. But I noticed that in my years of working with other companies and other contractors, it was the bare minimum. It was, I'm going to do this report for you and it's going to be very standard. I remember a coworker of mine ended up writing this report and the customer ended up gushing about it and saying how wonderful it was. It was put together beautifully. It was something that he didn't have to intervene in and he could just hand off to his team and how that saved him countless hours of work and made a good impression on the other people that he was serving. And I thought, oh my goodness. I read that, you know, I, so I got a copy of it because the guy worked in my company and I poured through it and it was excellent. And it reminded me that this is a great way to do a document. It taught me a lesson on how to do something in a more excellent way. And so that's where a lot of this comes from is how can we go back and do the extra mile, go that extra step and be the kind of person that when other people in the company go, you know who you can count on? That person. That person goes the extra mile. Don't you want to be that person? I know I do. So if you have the power to do something, even in the smallest way possible, do that extra mile. Do the thing that's going to not just take whatever project you're working on, well, that's pretty good, to being great. In the end, when your boss asks you to do something, the one thing they don't want to do is to redo it, do it themselves because you did such a poor job, or have to spend like an extra hour or two refining it, adding in some extra information, or even putting it in the company logo or letterhead and making it more perfect. They're not looking for more work. When they ask you to do something, they're asking you to go that extra mile and take this off their plate. Someone once said, the best thing that you can do to get noticed at your job is to find out what your boss hates doing and do it for them and do it for them well. Because if they don't have to even look at this thing that they don't like doing, they'll love you as an employee in the company and you'll be remembered when it comes time for good things to happen. 
they'll remember, oh, you know what? Jill's that kind of person who goes that extra mile. I know that's what I want people to think of me. And I think you probably do too. So you have that power to just do the little things. And that's what's really funny about it is you're doing the bulk of the work already, whatever project you're being asked to do. You're working very hard on it. You're collecting all the data. You're putting all the pieces together. You're doing the research. You're figuring out what needs are out there and you're writing them up. For you to go that extra step of just maybe putting it on the proper letterhead, making sure that the grammar's all right, making sure the document has pictures in it so that people know what you're talking about, that extra step is very tiny. I remember I worked on some project and it took me well over like six weeks to get this done. But the act of going through and making sure all the I's were dotted and everything was perfect probably took a couple of hours. I wanted to be done with the project. I've been working on it for the last six weeks. I mean, no one wanted to be done more than I did. But taking that extra step wasn't really that long in the whole scheme of things. When you look at the whole amount of work that this project took, Going that extra step was very minimal in just the final moments of the project. So it's not even that you're going to have to do exceedingly well. Someone reminded me that the difference between a baseball player who is blah and a baseball player who is World Series, All-Star Games, amazing, is one extra hit per game. How many times are they going to be up and how many times are they going to go to bat? But if they can get one more hit a game, Two more hits a week, that makes you a superstar compared to just being, eh, he's a pretty good player. So that's what you're looking for is you're trying to do the things. And because you have that ability to do it, it's going to open up doors of opportunity for you. Like I said, you're going to be considered, you know who gets things done? Oh, that person, they're great. So the first thing that you have to do in order to go that extra mile is to start just doing it. Don't make a plan for it. Just take those opportunities that come along and do it. You'll see those opportunities come to you in a day-to-day basis. So I was noticing something great my coworker was doing where he was creating accounts for people, but then he wrote them this very nice email, welcomed them to training and told them how to use their account and where they click. Boy, that was a nice touch. They probably figured it out. They click on the email, they would click on the link, they do the thing they're supposed to do, and they probably could have done just fine. But that very introductory welcoming email, boy, that was the extra step. So you can just do the small things and you can start today on doing those small things that make all the difference in the world. Because in the end, don't you want people to go that extra step for you? Don't you want people who are vendors of yours to say, oh, and by the way, I noticed this thing on your roof was crooked. I straightened that out for you. No cost. I just wanted it to be right. Wouldn't you love that? Or again, that financial counselor who remembered that four months ago, he was going to get back to me and he did. We want those people to be the kinds of people who go the extra mile for us. Let's start being that for other people. And the other part of it is we just don't see much of that anymore. We see workers, employees, vendors, people on the phone who do the bare minimum, who just don't make anything right. And it was funny. I had a support call I had to make to a company of software that I was doing. And they said something about how you will love our customer support because we will take a bad thing and make it into a good thing. And I'll I'll name the company. It was Woot. And I didn't believe it. You know, Woot is owned by Amazon and they offer discount things. And essentially, I ordered something And what I got in the mail was the thing I ordered, but it was a smaller version of it. And they went above and beyond and they made sure I was happy and I was content with the solution. You just don't see that often. And so when it happens, it stands out to you and you'll say, that's a company that really cares about its customers, just like I'm telling you. And so then I tell people and they go, oh boy, that's a good company. I'd buy something from Wood again because they want the extra distance in making something they got wrong beyond better. And so I was so impressed with them. So first of all, it's going to make you stand out. If you do those things, you're going to be known as the person who goes and does the extra step. It's going to compare you to other people and you will stand out. There's so many people in around the work world who says something that's not what they do. 
And I worked at a company, it was a software company, and I forgot what it was. And he asked me to do some sort of chore that was not my thing. He wanted me to work on a wiring and a table. I was a server administrator. I wasn't someone who worked on tables, but he asked me if I'd go and find a screwdriver and fix this table. I'm like, why? I suppose I could do that. And so I did it. And then when I got up from under the table, he says, well, I'm glad you did that because anyone who says that's not my job, I'm going to fire him. (laughs) Well, I guess it's a little the opposite of being recognized as saying, I was about to fire you if you would have told me no, but (laughs) I'm glad I told him yes. But you will be a person that people will think of kindly because you want that extra step. And people will pay attention to you when there's promotions out there. And then here's what happens is once you become the kind of person who starts taking extra steps, you'll get good at it. It will become just a natural habit for you. You will always then start doing the extra thing. And that's where people are going to say that you really stand out. You're the person who does things. You're just not someone who just leaves things in a big messy pile. And so you'll really be recognized for that. You know, we talked about at the beginning with the quote about coming early or staying late and those types of things. That's one way that you can do it, you know, is that you can work more hours. But I don't think that that is the key to this. Just for the sake of working long hours is really not what you're looking to do. You're looking to add that extra contribution. You're looking for ways that you can hit that extra ball on base every game. You're just doing a little bit here and a little bit there and this extra job and this dot over the eye and gone out of your way to do something that makes people appreciate you. That's what will get you recognized. I remember on one of my trips out to one of my customers, I had visited a customer before and they found out I was going to be in town again for something else. And they said, would you mind just stopping by? We'll, you know, we'll order lunch. And I ended up changing my plane flight around, staying the afternoon. So I got home late in the day, but they had lunch. They had a bunch of questions. I was able to knock out so many questions they had, answer so many problems that they were having that it made a difference. I could have done that because I was also their product support person. It could have taken me a few weeks to get through all those questions, answer all those things, show them the right way to go. But one four hour out of my life got me home a little bit later one night, made all the difference to them. And I was able to give them something so beneficial that it helped improve the nature of the work they were doing. So this whole process can just do everything that you need it to do and make things better. There are little ways, too, that you can make things better. You can just make someone's day. I remember I ran into someone and I gave them a hug because I thought, I've never seen anyone who needed a hug more than that person at that moment. There's ways that you can go that's not just about work, but your personal relationships, where you could just go pick them up. Um, dinner because they've had a rough day, or you could send them flowers because they just needed something to be happy about. You can just listen to someone because someone just needed someone to talk to. And the other day I was standing in line and I was just buying a cable and this person was telling this huge story to the salesperson. I was getting kind of annoyed because I was waiting in line and I just wanted to go home. And I thought, what if that's the only person she's ever talked to? And she just needed to chat. She just needed someone to say hi to, and he was giving that to her. It's hard for me to know that that was true. So there are other ways that you can go that extra distance, that you can help a person a little bit more. And maybe it's just by giving them a little breathing room so they can just tell the story they've been wanting to tell. So in the end, I think that this is, you know, a philosophy of life of serving other people, of being helpful to other people. So many people are into this world for themselves. They just care about what they want, what they want to get out of their world, and they don't think about the people around them and what they need. They're looking to just not be involved. I want to earn a paycheck and go home and do the things I want to do instead of caring for the people around them. And once you become that person who goes and does extra things for people, looks out for them, even if it's just a quick hello or a pat on the back or bringing them a meal, you'll start thinking of yourself as the kind of person who 
cares for other people and takes on additional work. Again, you'll be known as the kind of person who will do those kinds of things. And it will become a small step in bringing your life forward. You'll start knowing what the next big thing you're supposed to do for someone that just means a little bit of difference. All right. So my challenge to you is think of one way tomorrow that you can take an extra step for a person. Can you bring someone a meal who really just needed to have a break? Can you do an extra bit of project for someone who is a little behind and needed just a third hand in order to get something done? Think of one thing that you can do. It'll make that person's life better. But you know, here's the thing. It's going to make your life better. And eventually, people are going to recognize you as the person who goes the extra mile. Hi, everyone. Thanks so much. I appreciate you listening to the podcast. And remember that you can always email me at jill at startwithsmallsteps.com and let me know what you think. And if there's something that I can answer for you or a topic that you would like to hear. And also to let you know, Notion has now given me the ability to be an affiliate person. So there's a link in my podcast if you're interested in Notion. You know, it's kind of a weird ask right now. I've mentioned Notion before as my database my productivity tool, my organizational notebook of choice. It's everything. It keeps track of everything in my life. But if you're interested in trying Notion, you can click on the link in the show notes and find out more information about it. And remember, the step to us becoming the person who goes the distance, does the special things for other people, starts with small steps 